Hello, everybody, and welcome to North 100 Showdown, a Canadian Highlander. Th Wait, that's horses. <laughs> I, that's what I was doing. <laughs> Uh, my name is Wheeler. Uh, joining me, I got a Nelson. I'm here. We got a Ben on tech. Horses. And we have you to thank for your support over at patreon.com slash loading ready run. Uh, it's because of all of you. There's all of this. And if you want more information on all of this, whether it be the format or the deck list we're playing today, you can look in the description down below. What's your name? Horses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nelson. Nice to oh, meet you. Nice to meet you. Do you have time for a short joke? I would love a short joke. Great. So there's these horses hanging out. I'm playing Mardu Tokens today. Awesome. Um, specifically, I am playing the list from the Canadian Highlander Yellow Jacket 2023 Top 8 Tournament, piloted by Jason Jobin. Um, I made a slight tweak. Mostly to the mana base. Not your back, I hope. No, not my back, my neck, my... Not going to finish that. <laughs> uh, and my fetch land. Um, your battlefield and your stack? Yeah. Well, there, that's much better. Uh, I I was going to say crack. It's like because you crack, crack the... Crack a fetch? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Remember when we all well, we always called them snap lands? That was a big victory. I remember thing. that. Yeah. yeah. More memory unlocked. I haven't yeah. called it a snap land since meeting BDM and having a conversation about it. Because I think mm. he was like, Snaplands, that's silly. I think uh, people, due to this line of work, are like, what the hell is a Snapland? Right. It's like, oh, right, Americans. Um, speaking of, I am playing the red, the white, and the black. <clears throat> uh, my token, or my tokens, <laughs> my points are uh, Mox Ruby, Mox Pearl, Mox Jet, and Fourth Aerolingus, uh, the... <laughs> plan for Mardu tokens is to make tokens. What are you playing? Hi, I'm playing a Gruel Monsters deck. It's very, very similar to the list piloted by Pro Tour Day 2 competitor Noel Robin at the recent uh, YJ slash LRR Canadian Highlander Top 8 Championships for 2023. Uh, he tweaked it a little bit because he jams a slightly different list on Mondays than a Top 8, and I rolled up to his crib last night and borrowed it. Mm. Oh, you got it right from the source? Yeah, it's the it's the actual cards from the actual top eight. Oh, no. The, the papas have to like, help each other out with time building deck lists. Oh no. Like I an, don't I don't even think my wedding announcement is uh re no, it's it's real. I'm playing real I'm playing real. Okay, good. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, my points are Mox Emerald, Mox Ruby, and Sol Ring. Ooh, powerful bunch. My deck is hoping to play some mana dorks and then some big idiots. Mm -hmm. And attack for lethal. Mm -hmm. Great. I might have like an abrade. Oh, <laughs> Can I mulligan now? No. Oh, okay. But you did win the die roll. That's true. Good luck to you, Ben. Good luck. Let's have a good one. I hope so. Flooded Strand. Mox Jet. Very nice. Go ahead. Hmm. Forest. Sol Ring. Mm. Go ahead. And a turn fetch. I'm going to grab myself a plateau. Very nice. Mm hmm. An emblem of my career. Plateauing. It took me a second. Yeah, all right. It took me a second. You said emblem of your career, and I just thought about Thalia. <laughs> I'm like, that's not how it goes. <laughs> I'll fetch for Athalia. Get pan glacial worms. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, yeah, Abyssin, the emblem of her church. That's Graham's mm -hmm. joke, right? I'm going to tap two. I'm going to flash in Resolute Reinforcements. Excellent. Probably the least scary thing you can see off of a mox draw. Uh, it makes a token. I mean, it's more scary once you play an anthem. That's true. Uh, draw. I'm going to play a Sulfurous Springs. And I'm going to attack for two. No blocks. Take two. I'm going to cast Wedding Announcement. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pass the turn. At the beginning of my end step, I put an Invitation Counter on this. Uh, and I attack with two or more creatures, so I get to draw a card. Very good. Go ahead. 
tap. Okay. I'll play a root band crag. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'll play a Tarmogoyf, not mm -hmm. very large, one, two. And with the colorless floating, I'll also play a Canker Bloom. Mm, okay. Back to you. Untap. Draw. You know, while I appreciate that Noel's list had the exact printing of Tarmogoyf uh, in their in their list, doesn't quite help uh, for those who don't know what oh. Tarmogoyf does. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, this is a store promo that was only released in Japanese, I think. But uh, yeah, Tarmogoyf is a star, star plus one creature. Uh, famous I in magic. everybody knows. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> Well, what do they? What do they? Do they not know, or do they know? If you're watching North 100 Showdown, you might know what Tarvagoyf does. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Jesus. All right, let's play a Black Cleave Cliffs as my land for the turn, and I'm going to tap two and play a Stoneforge Mystic. Awesome. Trigger. I forget what's in this deck. I know there's Skull Clamp. That's an advantage that the players in the top eight have over us. <laughs> <laughs> they know what's in their decks. I mean, I can grab Shadow Spear. I will grab... I'm going to grab Glimmer Lens, actually. I'm going to have to read that one. Oh, we got a reader. This one, I actually really Is this like the this. Four Mirrodin one? Yes. Oh, uh, okay. And it draws cards? Or yeah, something? so it's two mana for Mirrodin. Comes into play with a 2 2 Rebel equipped to it. And whatever equipped creature and at least one other creature attack, I draw a card. Yeah, this is a hot piece of tech. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, big, big, uh, big fan of this card. I think the Vintage Cube has also shown other you know, people that this card is like real. It's a real thing. Yeah. Joining the throng of cards from Commander that are okay in 1v1. <laughs> yeah. They keep doing that. Yep. Um, I'm going to play a Skull Clamp. Yes. And I'm going to clamp my soldier. Draw two cards. Draw two cards. And then I'm going to Pass the turn, and I'm going to wedding announcement, and I make a 1-1 one, one human. And the guests are arriving. Draw a card. So many tokens. Hmm. Forest. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Weld Oddity. Oh. Four four trample haste. Yep. And then I think I'll get in with these two, both the Canker Bloom and the Uvenwald Oddity. Uh I'm going to triple block the Canker Bloom. I'll put Stoneforge Mystic in front of Resolute uh, Reinforcements sure. and then the token. Okay. And then I'll think about whether I want to trade with those creatures or one of your powerful artifacts and enchantments. I wish I could just attack your wedding announcement. Like, it has dice on I, it. I was, <laughs> I was thinking that exact thing. I was yeah. just like, oh, I gotta keep them back to save, save this <laughs> save wedding, my wedding I got my, announcement. I got my permanent that helps my board every turn and has a dice on it. I've yeah. got a block for that. Um, God, I still don't know whether the wedding announcement or the skull clamp is scarier. You're at 19, obviously. Yeah. Uh... You can keep your creatures. I will destroy your skull plant. Okay. Take four. Fifteen. Back to you. 
Untap. Timer Goyf is a 3 4. Draw. I'm sorry, Canker Plume. Maybe next game you can be a Stone Rain. <laughs> he saw your mocks and was so excited. Mm, good eating. Yeah. Good eating with that mox. Um, I am going to fatal push your Tarmogoyf. See you later, Tarmogoyf. I am going to play a polluted Delta. Uh, let's go to combat, and I'll attack you for three. I lose three life. I'm going to tap two and cast Glimmer Lens for Mirrodin. I think. Yeah. <clears throat> then I would like to go to end step. Uh, because I attack with two or more cards, uh, creatures, I get to draw a card, and then Wedding Announcement turns into um, Blackout Drunk at the Free <laughs> Bar? <laughs> what? Banned from the Kiwanis Club. Does this? <laughs> the counters don't actually get removed. Okay. Not invited to next year's Thanksgiving. Go ahead. House of Blues open karaoke. Uh... uh... Please, Ben, I'm trying to escape. <laughs> don't bring me back. I don't want to pay $9 for a Jameson, or $14 for a Jameson and ginger ale, please. Hilarious. Uh, let's green sun zenith for four. Holy crap. Right? Yep. Yeah, that's what that says. Ah, it's like I'm cheating. I can see which cards are in my deck. Uh, uh, judge? That's the one I was thinking of. Four mana in the green deck, you say? I know. Which Questing Beast variant do you want? Regular Questing Beast is pretty good here, and if I introduce the initiative, <clears throat> you're certainly going to take it. And probably then you'll just outplay me. I've even come around on Axbane Ferox. The four mana Death Touch Haste ward is like Collect Evidence 4. Yes. Uh, um, you think maybe, maybe that should have been included in the, the convo? Maybe. I, yeah. It's just like just, all these stupid beep beeps that right. like kill people. It's the gruel signet of your account how to me deck. <laughs> yes. But you're like, hey, that is a two mana artifact that adds mana. Get in. Um, look, I'm casting Wargate and I'm casting Wheel of Fortune. It's not adding blue, but I'm happy with it. Speaking of beeping, let us beep. Okay. Move gonna, to, moving to beep step. I'm going to go to 14. All right, sorry, are you attacking me or the... Oh, I guess with yeah, Questing Beast, I, you don't have to. That's right. I'm going to deal four damage to your enchantment during combat. Yeah. Let us grab a scrub a dub dub land. Very good. And while you're shuffling there, I'm going to fire off a Path to Exile. Oh, good. Targeting the Uvenwald Oddity. Okay. I will find and land. Look, it's like I took the initiative after all. It's basically the same thing. Yeah. Uh, then I'm going to take four, and I go to ten. I've also never seen this questing beast. I never took Noel for a use weird versions of cards kind of guy. Well, you know, he he's had that type four stack, which is oh, sort yeah. of like a cube, so he's kind of like a cube person. Yeah. And the cube people are, tend to be known for alternate verts. Or maybe that's dated. Maybe it was only if you made a cube 10 years ago. But that, you know, his cube is like 15 years old. No, cube sure. people are still freaks. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was also, As a cube person. You may cut. <laughs> yeah. may cut. This is also like in when they started doing the alternate frames. And it was like the first one that I had like weirdo problems with. Because like the, the rules box is the adventure box. Uh, oh, but there's right. no thing blocking it. So it's just like the words are going across the spine of the book. Hmm. Uh, yeah, you untapped and yeah. you're taking your turn? Good. 
Jesus. Uh, well, that was a good draw. You hate to hear it. I mean, I quite enjoy it. All right. I'm going to play this Caracas. The exhale from the tech booth. I didn't even have my mic on. That's how loud it was. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to play Broadside Bombardiers. All right. Uh, this card is not okay. I don't know how it got made. Um, I guess they looked at Ancient Tomb and was like, eh, it's not good enough, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Sacrifice your permanence. No one will want to play that. Downsides on magic cards. I, I will just crack as this. Sure. Uh, and I'd like to go to combat. Sounds good. Uh, everybody in the pool. Glimmer Lens is going to trigger. Draw me a card. That and blocks. you're going to take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sure. And then I'm going to throw this Glimmer Lens with the Broadside Bombardiers to deal you an additional four damage. Because it sacrificed an artifact or a creature on boast, deals damage equal to two plus the sacrifice right. thing's two mana plus. value. Game two. Game two. All right, all right. <clears throat> Direct damage spell, haste creature, remove my guy. Yeah. Uh, good turn. This has haste and menace. Yeah. <laughs> Why does it have menace? Also, you can activate boast before blockers. Didn't <laughs> yep. need to there, Didn't but... need to. Yeah, in, in case you haven't met Broadside Bombardiers yet, it's like that. Yeah. Uh, it's cards like that that make me glad that we only play with one of them. Yep, that's fair. That was a like pretty clean game, though. I don't know. I got to nine. We hit each other's stuff. Yeah, I was going to be able to attack for ten if I untapped. Um... My hand was all Planeswalkers, though. It was like Gomri into Minskin Boost, so the Caracas was like, not good. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Minskin Boo. It's tough to build a, you know, a really, really straightforwardly strong deck without playing legendary creatures, I think. Yeah. 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 Plenty of strategies where, like, you're not really doing creatures, but of the normal decks... All these good cards printed in the last five years are all legendary for some reason. It's the darndest thing. Yeah. That said, I think it's a good to, to reiterate, because Krakus is like the number one card that people ask about yeah. on the points list. Right. The, um, the Krakus commenters are warming their fingers. Yeah, up they're just right like, now. please, yeah. you gotta print you gotta point Krakus, or else my Brimaz is unplayable. And it's like, well, that I might not be Krakus' news. fault. Yeah. And also just like... I have good news and I have bad news. Yeah. You know, there, there's a lot more to it. But uh, actually, I think it's uh, good that we uh, have some kind of way of keeping all these <clears throat> busted cards in check. I'll go first. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Speaking of... Speaking of luck... Do you have oh, a lot of it? Busted. Oh, busted cards. Actually, that's well. I have the hilarious. Got to put it back because Cradle doesn't have green. Uh, green <laughs> hand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll keep. I I think this deck should maybe have been playing Cradle. That's like fair. it's on Ancient Tomb. Right. So maybe just another Ancient Tomb. Yeah. Cradle. But, except can't... The, the taps for six. Yeah. Yeah. Cradle can't. Um, you know, cast like a turn two, uh, Rabble Master, yes. super easily, but. Got some cool cards in here. <clears throat> I like the strategy. I'm glad I got to watch Jason a little bit in the uh, top eight. Yeah, truthfully, it's mostly red-white, and then the black gives you some kind of game against combo. Right. And like an Orcish Bowmasters, or, you know... This will be a key. Well, Orcish Bowmasters. Um, but <laughs> I, Orcish Bowmasters or an Orcish Bowmasters. But I do think okay. you could probably just take the red-white like tokens base and then add... I mean, you could pick your poison. I mean, don't play that card, but you could do green. You could even do blue. I think blue might be uh, pretty good. You can quote me on that. Quoting, uh, quoting you, the quotes are coming. Blue is pretty good. Blue is an okay color. I would like to lead off with a mountain and say go. Flooded Strand Pass.
I've got an Urza Saga. Mm -hmm. Back to you. Uh, I'm going to fetch. Very good. <clears throat> go to 19, grab a basic planes, and then I'm going to plane cycle my Eagles of the North. Very good. Kaka. Eagles saving us one more time, hey? Why didn't the Eagles of the North simply take Ben's board and shove them directly at Nelson? Why don't the Eagles just pick up Nelson's lands and drop <laughs> them up from a great height? I can't believe Tolkien didn't write that the Eagles could have simply picked up the die on Urza Saga and removed it. <laughs> Thus, due to state-based action... Yes. But we don't play any <clears throat> one-mana stone raids in this format, just zero-mana stone raids. Although, March of Otherworldly Light... <laughs> nope. Um... Don't tell my bird where to go. Um... Plateau, go ahead. Uh, untap, draw, saga trigger. Mm -hmm. um, Carpoose and forest. Mm -hmm. Pass. These reinforcements are back on the escalator again. Untap, draw. Very good. I noticed looking at Jason's list that, like, I'm not sure if every raise the alarm that's an instant is in or not. And, like, I wonder if you're playing this one because, like, having a creature in your bin is extra good or somehow. Uh, or creature spells matter more. It is playing actual factual raise the alarm okay, as well. Enough. Maybe it is playing all the instant speed ones, then. It is kind of nice to have one of these be, like, a... Oh, I'm not creature even card. on Recruiter of the Card. Um, right. There might have been reasons. New card. New card. Yeah, new it's card. probably better. Uh, tap three. Oh, because this deck has one Noda. Ah, there it is. Like there it is. That's that's a consideration. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play Squee Dubious Monarch. Hello, Squee. I'd like to go to combat. Hello, combat. Uh, I'm going to attack with everything. Squee is going to make a Gobbo. I'll activate Urza Saga. Mm -hmm. Make a construct. Uh, <clears throat> and take five. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, untap. Uh, yeah, we could use three threes. I'll draw my card first. Yeah, we can use three threes. Okay, I'll make another one of these, mm -hmm. and then I'll put a saga trigger on this and mm -hmm. search for an artifact. Okay. 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 Great. Oh. I'm happy for you, okay. actually. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. That'll be fine. That's fine. Even Ben agrees. It's fine. That's fine. fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 What's happening? I'm, uh, don't eat. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn my land into a soul ring. Nelson just resolving an Urza Saga trigger. It's and an activated ability. It's fine. Urza Saga is a fine this card. card. is fine. Yeah. I am going to need to dig for another construct. I'm sure we have Oh, I it. got one for Do you. Do you have one for yep. me? Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Here. Windmill? Let me gas you up a little bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let me give you the juice. Did Get that only... garbage out of here. Oh, no, I, li I like the Modern Horizons <laughs> one, too. <laughs> It looks so cute and slow. Look at it. It looks like it's like, you know, just getting up, hasn't had its coffee yet. I do the I'm a big fan yeah. of the Dominaria ones mm. made by the the Karn. Yeah. Uh, the titular Karn of the Struct. And um <laughs> You know, Karn from the Struck. And yeah, those look like they're just kind of waking up, or they're, they're like they're going outside for the first time of yeah, the day, and they're yeah. just like, oh. We're just turning the batteries on. Hey, yeah, you make up. I would like to pay two life for Stomping Ground. Ouch, mm -hmm. ouch. And cast. That's right. Sure. Let's make a Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Ooh. Did you grab that goblin? Of Tobin I already? do. I you have, have the that goblin already? for you. Great. And then I'll say go. I've got a goblin for you. <laughs> I've got a goblin for you. I've got a goblin for you. I've got a goblin for me. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Oh, Graham wanted this YouTube video to be able to make money. Damn oh, it. Oh, no. Well, he shouldn't have made it a YouTube video. Mm -hmm. Let's... I do have a goblin for you. 
Can we trade that? I mean, that's pretty good. I found another reason as to why uh, this card's in play. Oh, excellent. Or why this card's in the deck. Excellent. I'm going to shock myself with Godless Shrine. Okay. I'm going to play a Broadside oh, Bombardier. Yeah, you can sacrifice to Broadside Bombardier. Yeah. Okay, the thing is, though, Ben, you played that card last game. <laughs> Actually, I think you'll find, Ben, that... Um, We're supposed to have varied and different games in this format. No. That's that's why we play Canadian I Islander. played the Eagle. Oh, I shuffled the Eagles. You did shuffle the Eagles. I'll never play the Eagles. Don Henley and I... <laughs> We, we, we left didn't. 1986 on bad we terms. We not get a lot. That's right. Um, sorry, I'm trying to think if I want to trade, like, three cards for, for your one land that you played. Uh-huh. And, uh... Hey, it was also some time. I put mana into these windmills. That's true. Yeah. This windmill project cost the country $40 billion. I think the answer is at least with... And if I serve with all these, am I serving with everybody? Hmm. Actually, do you mind if I take this back? I don't I think mind. This sucks. If you just want to take Bogside Bombardiers out of <laughs> yeah. your deck right now, nah. you can draw a card. Well, let's not be hasty <laughs> uh, and menacey, but I will. I will still go with the shock. Uh, <laughs> good one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna play White Plume Adventure. Oh my God, that's so much worse. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll introduce the initiative yeah. in the Undercity. Okay. Uh, Good. Green is me. Blue will... Well, if you get there... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Trigger. I think I've got my own point if I get there. I'm going to grab a basic swamp. You don't have any flying creatures. So, you got that going for me. No, they're windmills. They're, mm -hmm. They don't fly. Yeah, that's true. That's true. They they're closer right. to giants. Uh, after I find this basic swamp that I definitely put in this deck, uh, that'll be a pass. Okay. A hundred percent put a. Please tell me you put a basic swamp in this deck, Jason. <laughs> you there's, there's just there's just no way. You have a Godless Shrine and a Scrubland. What are you casting Necropotence next turn? This deck doesn't actually play that many black cards. Yeah, and you've already got two black. Sources. I am on a one hundred cards. Oh, there. Just get a mountain. Okay. But, but right. no, but you you play Blood Moon. Maybe. It's true. I do maybe play Blood Moon. <laughs> I think I do have Blood Moon in my deck. Um, you have it in your hand. <laughs> uh, I had a, a trigger from this uh, White Plume. I'll untap the totally, Resolute Reinforcements. Totally chill, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, I have a trigger. I drew a card. I have a trigger. Yep. I may discard up to two cards. <clears throat> you put a Swamp in your hand? Yes. Or I'm just happy to see you. That's right, yeah. I'll discard Canker Bloom. Mm -hmm. I'll cast Mox Ruby. Okay. Hmm. This turn's an interesting one. Oh, that's kind of good. Okay. I'll play Wasteland. Yep. Oh, that's a lot of mana. Yes, I'll pay seven mana for Mawlock. Yes. I'll fight. Oh, Does this you... have protection or something? No. No, I'm going, to, I'm going to draw a card when it enters the battlefield, right? Yes. Okay. That is the but... first time I've seen this happen. <laughs> from yeah. Ravenous? Yes, from Ravenous. It enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters. If that number is five or more, draw a card when it enters. And also it wants to fight... White Plume Adventure right now. This card has a lot of words on it. Does it like have... Oh, and it's in no. German. Good. Does, it have, <laughs> does it have like protection no, for no. my thing? It doesn't, but I am going to path the exile sure, sure, with sure, that sure, trigger. Sure. That's like that. I will also yeah. get a land. Yeah. Uh, it's got a basic forest. Good. All right, all right. I understand. All right, you may cut. Go ahead. Untap. Yeah. Uh, Undercity to the forge. I'm gonna put two counters on my white plume adventure. Do you mind if I do something very uh, anal and pedantic? Go for it. What do you mean? Oh, sure. That's totally fine. 
green uh, showcases that its power is increasing, whereas blue is often used for lore and saga camp. Which is why we're using this green dye to represent you going through the dungeon. No, that's just because it's my favorite color. <laughs> uh, drop. The pedantry. <laughs> it knows some bounds. It knows some bounds. It knows some bounds. Our pedantry knows some bounds. I'm going to play a swan. Or, yeah, I'll play a swan. I played the swan and I questioned whether or not it was a swamp. I'm going to tap five. I'd like to play Aomer, King of Rohan. Great. Uh, five mana, two, two, double strike. Uh, when it ETBs, uh, or sorry, it ETBs with uh, one, one counter on it for each human I control. Better um, find yourself a green Each guy. other human, excuse me. And I have one. So okay. I'm going to... It's going to be a 3-3. Three, three. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, target player becomes the monarch. I'd like to choose myself. And then I'm going to deal damage equal to its power to any target. I'm going to deal three damage to one of your constructs. Sure. Three damage marked. Oh, you have a soul. I have, I have a mox root. I cast mox root last turn, so they're right. four fours. Uh, I'd, like to, to target I'd like to kill your goblin. You got it. Thank you. Um, and then I'd like to go to combat. Okay. I'm going to... Attack with my white plume adventurer. I'm going to kill one of them. Uh, I am going to pass the turn and draw for Monarch. Got it. Untap. Draw. This wants to be a real boy. Mm hmm. Flame Slash. Yep. Ignoble Hierarch. Yep. Attack for four. I'm going to block with a Goblin Token. You got it. Uh, scavenging Ooze. Yes. Destroy Plateau. <clears throat> Go. Yes. Um, untap. I'm going to go to the trap and dome you for five. Use five life. Draw. One card in it? With just one. Just one. It's a good one, though. Writes down good one. I'm going to collect a brutality, and I'm going to escalate it once. And I would like to kill your Kiki Jiki reflection, and I would like to drain you for two. That's going to work. I am going to pass the turn and draw for Monarch. I'll exile your um, Kessig. The Hanger Garrison? Hanger Garrison, yeah, sorry, Hanger Garrison. I don't gain a life because Carpoosin Forest costs damage. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> draw. All of Noel's lands provide foil mana. Just give me a second. I'm figuring out which one is which. I did not know that was a Carpoosin Forest. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think I declared it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. fine. All right. You <laughs> most surely did, but in my brain, I'm like, yeah, that's, yeah. I don't know, Woodland Grange? <laughs> like, or whatever. That's whatever it is, yeah. right? Uh, that's six, hey? QB. The cubes. I'll, you you want to go to QBs after this? <laughs> yes. I'll make another green mana. Does this questing beast okay? Yeah, yeah. questing beast. I also have a flint of boar. Oh, piggy. I will give the pig haste. Yeah. And then go to the combat step. Sure. Uh, these ones wish to attack. 
Uh, I'm going to snuff out your questing beast. Makes sense. Four. Um, and you are going to get the... Did you... You haven't played a land? No, haven't played a land. Two, you go to seven. I attack with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, nope. Uh, ooh, you draw a card, though. Mm, can I do this? Sorry, I gotta think. Take your time. <clears throat> if I draw that, it's pretty good. I think... I think I... Take it, which sounds terrible, but I think I maybe you can kill me next turn. That's what I'm aiming to. That do. doesn't sound terrible. Yeah. I mean, it sounds terrible. I don't me. have red. Right. If I get red, I kill you. Okay, I believe. Um, worst case scenario, we play a game three. Doesn't that sound true. fun? It's like worst case scenario, going for ice cream. I'll take twice as much. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Say I'll take. Nine. I'll take it. So three, four, five, six. Okay. Seven, eight, nine, assuming no effects for damage. Oh, no. I'll head into the Undercity uh, Secret Entrance. Six. Take the Monarch and the Initiative, I guess. The great thing about Magic is you only need the cards to play. Mm -hmm. um, I'll get a Forest and play it, and then Shuffle, and then pass the End Step and try to draw a card. Yeah. And then, I don't know, maybe do something before you want to tap. Sure. Probably not. I do have, like, two mana available. Yeah. So you're at kind of a virtual seven with the scavenger. Yeah, you've got creatures, right? I have two creatures. Uh, have I got something. eagles, white plume, and Aomer. Oh, right. The eagles run there, too. Okay, you may cut. Henley. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> Again with okay, this guy. I'm drawing my card from initiative. Yeah. It's your turn. Draw. It's a good one. That does add red mana. Yeah. All right. Um... Just making sure I have the math right. Is there a reason for me? If I do this and you kill this, then it's really bad. If I do this and then you kill... I have a broadside bombardiers and a fourth aerolingus. Um, I mean, just don't showing those to your opponent yeah. must mean you win the game, right? I think so. I mean, it probably uh, does. If I broadside and you have a, a kill... Broadside is like guaranteed kill for the damage, but if right. you have a damage spell, then broadside is so much worse because right. you just... Get to your turn. Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess if you have a damage spell, you're probably tapping this, and so I'm hitting you for one, two, three, four, five. But then you have one to gain a life uh, off the scoos if it's like a lightning bolt or whatever. Yeah. Say my card is lightning bolt, then I can just barely survive with with uh, mm -hmm. what's on the board. Or unholy scoos. heat or, or whatever. Sure. Any one mana burn spell uh, keep me in it. If I fourth, or, or I make three. three twos. You kill this, presumably. Uh, and then you take six, seven, or seven, eight. I think fourth, I think is, fourth slightly is safer. Yeah, I'm, so I'm going to fourth Aerolingus for yeah, three. Sure. Uh, I make three knights. Uh, I'm going to use these because they're quicker, even though they are two twos with trample. And I'd like to go to combat. Sure. Uh, attack, trigger from Squee. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'll fog. Just, just kidding. It goes with my questing beast. <laughs> That's right. The fog works into my strategy of tapping all my creatures on my turn, and that way I still untap. That would actually be kind of hot. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. In the beginning, like, people put, you know, Savannah Lions and Wrath of God in the same deck. Mm -hmm. And, like, now you have Monkey, which is actually good, sort of, next to Wrath of God. Mm -hmm. But, no, I am dead. How are we doing? Do we want to sneak in one more for fun, or do we want to call it there? Oh yeah, let's let's keep it going. Okay. This is, I mean, this is a aggressive board based match. Yeah, yeah. So. I think our games can be definitely over yeah. before this YouTube video hits the one hour mark. I'm sure Close the one. fans would hate that. A very long <laughs> eight hours of North 100 showdown. What ben would they do with themselves? Staring at me and holding a, a knife. <laughs> I think it might be a sword at that, that like... I mean, listen, if you want to make the commander video, we can just make the commander video. What's in his other hand, Ben? That looks like a <laughs> tiny doll of you. That's weird. I don't really want to make a commander video. I like that North 100 Showdown has etched itself as a gameplay show that isn't annoying. And. <laughs> well, I mean. 
Be sure to tune into the next episode of Elder Dragon Social Club. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need. Another commander show. Uh, you're good. Incredible. Okay. Uh, fun game. Should we roll a die? You, uh, oh, you can go, go first. Yeah. I'll go first. Okay. Oh. Hmm. You did say fun game. Right? Fun. The fun, fun of not drawing any lands at all. Uh, gentleman seven. Is sure, sure. Yeah, let's do it. I'll keep this. Oh, you just drew the bobside bumper to yourself. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, 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 box, box, land. Uh, uh, broadside uh, you for Why two. can't I hold all these black cleave clips? <laughs> no, this one's okay. It's not uh, the nut, but it's pretty good. I, this is the kind of hand I would keep in a tournament, you know, at a, at a Monday night, is what I mean. Which cards in Magic could you refer to as the nut? And you're actually correct. There's like Nut Collector. The play, the play I got to do in Chicago. Yeah, that was pretty Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your, your turn one. Yeah, that, that was the literal nut. Um, if you didn't catch it, everybody, Ben opened on two Moxes, Thoughtsies, and gr Grief. What else was it? So no, this was a that was a different bonk. Yeah. Oh, 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 you're so thinking it, of a different one. It was it was two moxes and a a, a fetch, a dark ritual, thoughtsies, cosmo. Right. So I was able oh, to comment. yes, comment, 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 comment yeah. yeah. So yeah, being able to fetch for a black source, mox, mox, dark ritual, use the four of the mana to cast comet, use the last black to thoughtsease their planeswalker removal out of their hand. Roll for Comet, roll a six. Uh, make four squirrels in the end. Swing for four, turn one, pass the turn. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was good. You know, it's a real shame that Magic players have, they associate the word competitive with a very specific set of things. Right. Um, because in other games that I play, Comet is what we would call a non-competitive card. Okay. Uh, like... Because it like double team or a baton pass or <laughs> right. yeah, it's uh, doesn't fit into the <laughs> evasion. Idea. Yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, I couldn't help but notice when we were talking when in the jokingly let's add a point to these cards. Uh, like eighty percent of them were cards that are in my deck. Well, Mardu Initiative just happens to play a large amount of really good blue cards. <laughs> Comet, White Plume. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I should be on a four <laughs> because I just hit like no land, no land, no yeah, land, yeah, but yeah. I kept seven. Uh, it's for fun, and we're playing a Noble Hierarch turn one. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Black Cleave Cliffs, uh, Mox Jet, uh, Orcish Bowmasters, Kill Your Noble just for fun. Go sure. ahead. The fun of killing my Noble Hierarch. <clears throat> Uh, it's Wooded Foothills, we'll sacrifice it. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. This London Fog got me wild and out. Nice. I'm just going to pay two life and get the stomping ground. <laughs> just so you know what it looks like. <laughs> 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 this is, we should just play other people's decks. So that the lands uh, mess us up. <laughs> either, either just the, like, their physical copy or their lists. Because then we just get to razz them the entire time. Yeah, it's like there's ex the whole top eight's in the room here getting, now, getting roasted, right? Out of all the people that we know, Jason Jobin and Noel Robin are not deserving of these roasts. No. But they're going to receive We're going to roast them anyway, <laughs> yeah. though. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this only cares if I draw extra cards. Like, you can't yeah. make this trigger, right? No, I unless I force you to draw extra cards. Right? Okay, good. I'll just cast a Soul Ring mm -hmm. and a Canker Blue. Okay, go ahead. Oh, the LD Dream is still alive and well. Uh, Scalding Tarn. Oh, it could have Stone Rained right there. <laughs> okay, hold on. Do you want... I mean, <laughs> yeah, we could... I didn't catch it. <laughs> sure, okay. Are you okay with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, this will change how I play my turn. Although, maybe it's... More exciting? So, this turn's more exciting. So if anyone didn't catch that, that was Nelly moving back up to cheat step using the spare mana from Soul Ring to blow up uh, Fence Mox. Uh, I'm going to play a Sunbig Canyon. Okay. I'm going to take one and cast Rally at the Hornburg. Excellent. Uh, I make two 1-1 one, one white human soldiers and humans I control gain haste until end of turn. Uh, thank you for watching my Lord of the Rings theme deck. Mm-hmm. Orcish Bowmasters Rally at the Hornburg. Yeah, fourth Aerolingus Amur. It's the it's my um, yep. battle at Helm's Deep 
<laughs> recon. <laughs> exactly. Let's... I'm going to play a pathway on the green side. Mm -hmm. Timber Crown. Okay, that's the one Eagles album I like. Pathway on the green side. Pathway on the green side. I have yeah. a Minsk and Boo. Oh, that's the one Eagles album I hate. <laughs> Minsk and Boo? Can't handle it. Make a Boo token. Mm -hmm. I'll make my Boo bigger. Planeswalker goes to four make loyalty. My boo grow. I'll cast Chain Lightning. I, I guess Bowmasters. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> I have a scavenging news in my deck, so I could yeah. I could eat the Bowmasters later. That's relevant. I could eat a Bowmasters later. <laughs> I could eat a Bowmasters later. Uh, I'm going to cast Get Lost. Target. Uh, Minskin Boo. I mean, you could target heroes. So I get two map tokens? Yeah. Uh, oh, your boost. I don't think I have a map I, token. I, I, Do you? I, okay, I, all right. Very good, very good. Dose. And then I'm going to pass. Untap. <coughs> Excuse me. Not a great spot. I mean, we got the boo, Minsk and Boo off the table, uh, but spoiler alert, I do not have a removal for your giant hamster. Mm. I've got another giant, speaking or of giants. Or your Unbound Adventure. Yeah. yeah, and I'll go into the Undercity. Mm -hmm. That's totally your water token. I'll find a basic land. Be a forest. The final line of this card... Just so that it seems like they're like it was the end of the night, and they're like, okay, so it adds two green. That's pretty good. But what if it completes a dungeon? Like we should. The has, other ones. How much something mana different. should it make? They're like, I don't know. Uh, six, six so, green. Some dev just like disheveled three cigarettes in his hands, just like I, I don't know. I, they've already won the game. Do they need any more? Like. Sure. What the, the first person that submitted it on file is like, okay, but if they've won a dungeon, they still want to do more stuff. It adds a hundred mana, yeah. right? And they're like, no, no, we can print everything except that. We've got got to tone it down to six. I have the scavenging used in my hand now, or on the, on the table. Go ahead. Well done, Nelson. That play was so smart. Very good, Nelson. You, you put that Orcus Bowmasters in the graveyard like a genius. Uh, I'm going to fetch for an elegant parlor. Oh, sick. Yeah, I'm super high on these lands. I was... Yeah, you I, were getting higher and higher on them. Well, it's. I was thinking about how we uh, talked about them in the set review. Yeah, the mountains are good and in the set review. I was, I was like, the mountains are well, okay. It started with like, okay, so the mountains are good for scape shift, And then also just like the blue-black one and the blue-red are good for like re reanimator or okay. like world gorger. Okay. Um, and then like... You know, you could play them for Thoracle, I guess. Right. Because so they, they just yeah. let you play more The blue-green one games. seems like it's going to be fine. And then, like, blue-green, yeah, because you just want fine. another blue-green duel for Mystic. Yeah. So the blue ones are good for Mystic Sanctuary. Right. And then, like, honestly, green-white's mana is kind of trash, so, like, the Lush Portico is good. Sure. And, like, the lands decks might... And then it just ended up being like, oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, <laughs> just every, yeah, <laughs> Oops. Every, every single one of them. Yeah, nope. they all have decks, it turns out. Yeah, that's incredible. I promise to you, I didn't intentionally put that extra card on the top of my hand. You're fine. And the fact that it was White Plume Adventure means <laughs> nothing. I mean, I did multi seven three times this game. That's true. It's okay. Stakes I'm... have never been where? All right. Get ready. Silent. Oh, I didn't even. <laughs> didn't even. Surface. Oh, yeah, it's real. I would like to put this uh, Adeline in my grave. Sure. And I should probably not draw a different card. Draw. Sure. That's fine. Perfect. It's it's worse. Oh. Usually is. Uh, silent clearing. I am dead. <laughs> I'm so dead, but I kinda wanna spin the wheel. Okay. Well, this is your turn at Wheel of Fortune, so you have to spin all oh, the this play wheel. Incredible. Okay, okay. Combat. Yes. Attack with a non human. Okay. Now, I played in a Timeless tournament somewhat recently yes, with so, this card. Yeah, just last week. Um, yeah. and, uh, How'd it go? Well, I played a deck that was laser-focused on show-and-tell. Okay. I fought f zero show-and-tell opponents. Oh, like your deck was My, there to meta against show-and-tell. Yeah, right. but it was a Winota deck. Okay. And let me tell you how many Agent of Treacheries I hit occasionally. How many Agent of Treacheries did you hit occasionally? Some amount, but I actually did hit a sick... So whenever a non-human attacks, yeah. which is Orcish Army, um, I can look at the top six cards and put a human card from among them tapped and attacking, and it gains indestructible until end of turn. 
Not to brag. Got a free Ooh, Esper Sentinel. Not too bad. I'll block your creatures. Okay. <laughs> cool. Go ahead, <laughs> Nelson. <laughs> okay. Well, untap. This card's a lot better when you don't make your tokens off Rally at the Hornburg. I'll, I'll forge up the Underbound Adventurer. Mm -hmm. Draw for turn. Um, I will... Sacrifice a map token to try to make Boo larger. Mm -hmm. I'm revealing the top card in my library. It's a land. I'll put it in my hand. I'm playing a Mox Ruby and sacrificing the other map token. Mm -hmm. Same target. It's Hex Drinker. Oh, that's uh, good. I think I'm going to leave that on top. Hex Drinker seems pretty good when you already have your soul ring. Combat? Question mark? Yep. You're at 15. You have four creatures. Um... Just under Mountain Adventurer. I take five. Pass. Go to ten. No, play this Den of the Bugbear, then pass. Tap. Well, I'm not dead. He says taking two damage off his lands. Uh, Caves of Chaos Adventurer. Oh, you get to go to the... No, the dungeon. I go into the dungeon. All right, you're in the secret entrance. I'm going to grab a basic swamp. And then I will play the basic swamp. And then I will pass. Okay, end of turn. How many creatures are in your graveyard? Enough. Uh, two. Oh, okay, I'll remove them and gain two life. And... Maybe also remove my Canker Bloom and my Noble Hierarch. Sure. And gain two more life. Okay, then I'll untap, draw this Hex Drinker that no one knows about. Um, go into the next. Sorry, before I draw, <clears throat> I'm going to trap you. No, I have the initiative. Oh, you have the initiative. That's right. Okay. Magic is a hard game, mm -hmm. played by hard people. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can say that. I mean, the term is erect. <laughs> that's not the, that's not what I meant. Oh, okay. okay, I'll attack you yeah. with. Is this right? Does Den of the Bugbear even want to get in? <coughs> Why with a Winota? Yeah. Maybe that's not. It right. does get a little bit worse knowing that the card in your hand is not so yeah, like blowout. Exactly. Exactly. I'm just letting you block with all your stupid idiots. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, this is a 5-5 five five because yep. of that Explore trigger. Thank you for letting me block yeah. with all my stupid yeah. idiots. I'm not attacking with the bugbear. It's fine. Um, you have too many little 1-1s one that kind of negate the value of throwing more 1-1s one at you. Okay. Hmm. God, I have a Sakenzin in my hand, and I really want to make some things to attack with a Winota. But That's I fair. think she's on blocking Trade with Boo. Duty. duty. Yeah. Yeah. I believe these are my blocks. All right. Hex drinker. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, awkward. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's probably fine, right? Yeah, it's going to be fine. Protection right. from everything? Just everything. It only has protection from everything. Only has protection from everything. Go ahead. All right. Uh, I'm going to go to the... Uh, Where do you want to go? Trove. I don't actually know. The what Lost it's, Well. The Lost Well. You want to scry too? Yeah. You're scrying too. Well... <laughs> well... If I'm going to... If I'm going to die... Well. <laughs> if I'm going to die... I'm gonna do it with style. Eagles of the North. <laughs> Casting Eagles of the North. Incredible. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Thanks for the games. Thank you for the games. This was a good one. Yeah. Um. This deck feels really good. Like, yeah. Shockingly good. Yeah. There's Jason, solid player, great player for sure. Well known uh, for playing Black Mold for years. Yes. Um. And was playing a Mardu mid range list. Uh. Sometime last, well, not last year, 20, 2022, he was playing some Mardu, more of a mid rangey list. Um, and then I heard he was crushing with tokens, and that was sick. And then he just kept, he just kept winning. 
Like, it wasn't like a, oh, cool, Jason won with tokens. It came like, yeah, Jason won again with tokens. Right. And uh, it's really interesting to see established players dip into things like this that kind of have a bad rap they for do. no reason, really. E tokens like, list have a rap, I think, in the Canadian Heller community for being cute, right? Mm -hmm. Like, because maybe until now, but, but or sometime recently, typically if you were like, focused on building a tokens deck it meant that you were gonna eschew some of the like better solid cards yeah but you know we've learned that you can just have a deck that's tokens because of like six cards in it or something and like the rest of the deck is like the good stuff from the vintage pile or whatever yeah, yeah. even but even like back in the day i remember you know people would go haha tokens so who's your commander um sure. but like you had multiple people that would win locals with uh Naya or like white green. Right, Shen white won green. with white green. Yeah. Um, was it Zach? Yes. Who won with Naya, Naya a couple tokens. of times? Right. Like, yeah, like it's it's a real going wide and invalidating a lot of removal, like spot removal, especially because there's just no wraths, right? It's yes. Fury and Pyrokinesis. Yeah, Baldur's Gate and MH3 have kind of changed the landscape so the tokens seem a lot more attractive now. Yeah. Right? Protects the initiative, can take back the initiative. Uh, just hits people pretty hard. Yeah, like I guess I, I Fury, mean, Fury hurts, but the reality of post MH two, I think, <clears> is that there's many, many less sweepers in the format. Yeah, and anything you can do to make the Fury and the Pyrokinesis still trade effectively, like two for two, or, or yeah, even sometimes like two for one, where you're like, I got a Fury, this Rabble Master in the right. board, right? Exactly. Yeah, no, I've been very impressed. Plus, so, we've got MH three coming up, so you just have to worry about Fury Mark two. <laughs> Ben, I already have enough nightmares. Sorry, I broke Ben. Yeah. <laughs> so for all the times that we complain about all these new cards showing up and how it's always all the new cards, yeah. Thrun the last troll in Flint Hoof Boar. Beautiful pig, still beautiful. on the table. And you, beautiful pigs, uh, support us. That's good, right? They like this? this Everyone is... likes being called a beautiful pig. Mm -hmm. Don't I mean, you? And the, oink, oink. In the Highlander community, honestly, it's... That's pretty a nice, pretty nice compliment. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching and tuning in and uh, supporting us over at patreon.com slash loading ready run. Uh, we couldn't do this without all of you. Beautiful pigs. Uh, and of course, if you would like to play some beautiful pigs uh, or more Canadian Highlander, you can find our deck list in the description down below, as well as more information on the format. I, Bean Wheeler, thank you, Nelson, for joining me. Wink, wink. Thank you to Ben on tech. Sue Sue. Oh, wait, cut me off whenever. Sue. Are you done? Are you still recording? Did you cut me off? Hello? No, we're out. Okay, good. <laughs> Nicely done. Ooh, exactly. And now we're done recording. No! <laughs> <laughs>